Introduction Hello mom, I am here as promised. Let us go for the movie. Vidushi, you will have to wait for half an hour. Let me complete this drawing. It is all right, mom. I can wait. Tell me, mom, how do you draw these huge buildings and their interiors? With the help of these instruments. They are so familiar to the ones we use in geometry class. Do you now understand how important mathematics is to architecture? Yes, mom, I do. In this lesson, you will learn practical geometry. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Construct a circle Construct a line segment Draw a perpendicular to a line Draw the perpendicular bisector of a line segment Draw the bisector of an angle Construct angles Construction of circles A circle is a two-dimensional figure. Every circle has a center. The distance between the center and the boundary of a circle is known as its radius. The line segment through the center of a circle with its end point touching the boundary of the circle is known as the diameter of the circle. The diameter of a circle is twice its radius. We draw circles with the help of a compass. Compass is an instrument with two arms. While one arm remains fixed, the other arm with the pencil moves freely. Let us use a compass to draw one circle, two intersecting circles, three concentric circles, one circle. Let us draw a circle with three centimeters radius. Place the compass on a ruler and widen it to measure three centimeters. Mark the center of the circle with the sharp end of the compass. Move the arm with the pencil around keeping the other arm fixed at the center of the circle. The circle is formed. All the points on the boundary of a circle are equidistant from its center. Two intersecting circles. Intersecting circles may or may not have the same radii. Let us now draw intersecting circles. Draw a circle with 4 cm radius. Draw a circle with 5 cm radius in such a way that it passes through the first circle. We have two intersecting circles, three concentric circles. Concentric circles are circles with the same center but different radii. Let us now draw three concentric circles with the radii 2, 3 and 4. Mark the center and draw a circle with 2 cm radius. Draw the second circle with the same center but a different radius of 3 cm. Draw the last circle again with the same center but a different radius of 4 cm. We have three concentric circles. Construction of line segment. A line segment is a measurable part of a line with two definite end points. We use a ruler and a compass to construct a line segment. Let us construct a line segment 5 cm long. Draw a long line M. Mark a point X on it. Place the compass on a ruler and widen it to measure 5 cm. Place the sharp end of the compass on point X. Rotate the other arm with the pencil to make a mark at point Y on the same line. We have a line segment XY which is 5 cm long. Suppose a 6 cm long line segment PQ is given. We want to create another line segment ST of the same measurement. How do we do it without using a ruler? Use the compass to measure PQ. Draw a long line L. Mark a point S on it. Place the sharp end of the compass on point S. Rotate the other arm with the pencil to mark point T on the same line. We have a line segment ST which is a copy of the line segment PQ. Construction of perpendicular to a line. A perpendicular to a line cuts it at right angles. A perpendicular to a line can be drawn into two ways. Through a point on the line, through a point outside the line. Let us learn to construct perpendiculars in both the ways. Perpendicular through a point on the line. Draw a long line M. Mark a point A on it. 
with point A as the center and any radius draw an arc to cut line M at two points C and D. With the radius greater than CA and C as the center, draw an arc above the first arc. With the same radius and D as the center, draw another arc above the first arc. Mark the point of intersection of the two arcs as E. Join point E to point A with the help of a ruler. EA is perpendicular to line M. Perpendicular through a point outside the line. Draw a long line M. Mark a point A above it. With point A as the center and any radius, draw an arc to cut line M at two points C and D. With the radius greater than half of CD and C as the center, draw an arc below the first arc. With the same radius and D as the center, draw another arc below the first arc. Mark the point of intersection of the two arcs as E. Join point E to point A with the help of a ruler. AE is perpendicular to line M. Construction of perpendicular bisector of line segment. A perpendicular bisector of a line segment intersects it at right angles and divides it into two equal halves. Draw a line segment XY. Measure on the compass a radius more than half the length of XY. Point X as the center. Draw an arc above and below the line segment. With point Y as the center, draw another arc above and below the line segment. Mark the points of intersections of arcs as A and B. Measure OX and OY with the divider. OX is equal to OY. Measure angles XOB and YOB. Angle XOB is equal to angle YOB is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, AB is the perpendicular bisector of XY. Self-assessment. Match the steps involved in the construction of a line segment with their numbers. Construction of bisector of angle. The bisector of an angle divides it into two equal halves. Let us learn to construct an angle bisector. Draw angle AOB. With O as the center, draw an arc to cut the two rays OA and OB of the angle at P and Q respectively. Measure a radius greater than half the length of PQ. With the measured radius and P as the center, draw an arc above PQ. With the same radius as Q, as the center, draw another arc above PQ. Mark the point of intersection of arcs as C. Join O and C. Measure angles AOC and COB. Angle AOC is equal to angle COB. Therefore, OC is the bisector of angle AOB. Construction of copy of angle. How do we construct a copy of an angle whose measure is unknown? Angle AOB is given. With O as center and any radius, draw an arc to cut the two rays OA and OB of the angle at P and Q respectively. Draw a long line L and mark a point S on it. With OQ as radius and S as center, draw an arc to cut line L at T. With PQ as radius and T as center, draw an arc to cut the previous arc at R. Join R to S. Angle RST is equal to angle AOB. Construction of angles. Let us now construct some special angles one by one. 30 degree angle. 60 degree angle. 120 degree angle. Construction of 30 degree angle. Draw a long line M. Mark a point Q on it. With any radius and Q as the center, draw an arc to cut line M at point R. With the same radius and R as the center, draw an arc to cut line M at Q. Mark the point of intersection of arcs as P. Join P to Q. Bisect the angle. Measure angles PQS and SQR. Angle PQS is equal to angle SQR is equal to 30 degrees. Construction of 60 degree angle. Draw a long line M. Mark a point Q on it. 
with any radius and Q as the center, draw an arc to cut line M at point R. With the same radius and R as the center, draw an arc to cut line M at Q. Mark the point of intersection of arcs as P. Join P to Q. Angle PQR is formed. Construction of 120 degree angle. Draw a long line M. Mark a point Q on it. With any radius and Q as the center, draw an arc to cut line M at point R. With the same radius and R as the center, draw an arc to cut the first arc at S. With the same radius and S as the center, draw an arc to cut the first arc at P. Join P to Q. Angle PQR is formed. Assessment. Match the following descriptions to their respective options. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learnt. Construction of circles. Construction of line segments. Construction of a perpendicular to a line segment. Construction of a perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Construction of an angle bisector. Construction of angles.